Hi, this is Denver Riddle from Color Grading Central. In this video, I want to give you an overview of my luster grade presets and walk you through how to apply them to your project. After purchasing them or downloading the free sampler, you'll just install them using the convenient installer package I've created. Follow the prompts and then restart Final Cut Pro 10 if you already have it open. With Final Cut Pro 10 launched, you'll find the luster grade presets in the effects browser as well as customizable versions of the presets in the color board. As an added bonus, I created an adjustment layer preset and a broadcast safe filter that is found under the titles browser. I'll demonstrate how to use those in just a bit. The really nice thing about having the luster grade presets in the effects browser is that we can instantly preview how they will look on top of our clips. Once we've decided on a look, just double click on it. And voila, we've applied an advanced look with just one click. And if we feel like the look is too strong, we can dial back the amount the look is applied with this convenient control here. In addition, I've created this Pimp Fusion preset that can be added either as a standalone or in addition to the other presets. Adding this preset will add diffusion and a certain crispness to the image. We can also adjust the amounts with this preset as well. That looks great, moving on. Now let me show you how to use the bonus adjustment layer and broadcast safe filter. If I want to apply a particular look to many clips in my timeline in the interest of time, I can do that with the adjustment layer. Under the titles browser is where we'll find these presets under the category CGC tools. I'll then drag the adjustment layer over top of my clips, apply a luster grade preset to the adjustment layer, adjust the amount, and extend the adjustment layer to cover as many of the clips that I want the look applied to. To finish off, just in case I have any illegal video levels, I'll add the broadcast safe filter to the very top track, thus ensuring I'm broadcast safe as sort of a blanket effect. Okay, let's finish up with the customizable versions of the presets in the color board. These presets are applied in one of four different ways, through a single layer correction, multiple layer corrections, with color masks, and through video clip stacking. I'll demonstrate each. The first and easiest one is to just apply the preset in only one correction. For convenience, I've included light and dark versions of the presets for bright and dark shots. And by customizable, I mean you can now make adjustments to the color, saturation, and exposure pucks until it suits your taste. The second method is to apply the preset in multiple corrections as indicated by the number suffix in the preset name, so I'll add a preset in two different corrections. The third method includes color masks. These are also added in multiple corrections, but the suffix also indicates that the adjustment is to either be applied to the shadows or to the undertones. So with those applied, I'll pull a color mask on the undertones. This is the area in the image above the shadows and below the midtones. Then I'll just apply a color mask to the shadows for the shadows layer. In the last method, we need to actually make a copy of the clip and stack it on top of the original. The suffix in the name of the preset will indicate whether the correction goes to the top clip or to the bottom. So I'll add the bottom adjustment first and then the top adjustment to the top clip. Now all we need to do is to change the composite blending mode of the top clip to screen. And that's it. In summary, my luster grade presets can be added quickly and effortlessly through the effects browser. This is a powerful, quick way to grade. And if you want even more creative control, you can add them through the color board and make fine tune adjustments from there. If you've purchased my luster grade presets, I want to personally thank you for your patronage. And if you want to try them out first, please download the sampler pack by clicking on the link below. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know. I am here for you. Happy grading.